Yo, what's going on guys? It's DJ Rick Webb and today I'm going to take you downstairs, I'm going to take you to the garage and we're going to go through all the equipment that is in the garage. Through all the craziness that's been happening through homecoming season and then after homecoming season jumping right heavily into wedding season, uh, it's finally uh, winter time and it's finally uh, a break time basically for me. I got uh, like three weeks off before we start bridal show season and that's gonna be fun too. Um, I was gonna do a studio tour as well in this video but studio tour is gonna have to be in a separate video because uh, as you can see there's cables laying around. I just got the monitors yesterday and there's more stuff that needs to be set up in here to get this place um, looking the way it should be for the studio tour and hopefully I'm not making you guys dizzy. Anyways, so let's head downstairs and uh, let's go through all the stuff that I have. Okay, so here's the garage and uh, first thing obviously we need to take my truck and move my truck out of the garage so we can see the rest of the stuff that's in the garage. as I pan around you guys will probably notice I don't got much room left in here to put much more equipment which is a serious problem considering the stuff that I got planned to buy in 2019 so uh, your boys gonna be looking for some new solutions on storing stuff or the trucks gonna have to be sitting out in the parking lot which I don't want to do so we're gonna go around the garage here and I'm gonna go through everything that I own that is in here for uh, gear so let's start over on uh, this wall because this wall has the least amount of stuff and it obviously has the least amount of stuff so that I can actually get into my truck uh, when I come in here jack stands jack longboard that's not DJ related uh, up here I got these uh, rack hooks and this is where all of the pipe and drape poles are stored uh, that pipe and drape I will show a couple clips right now this is the pipe and drape you guys have seen me use multiple times now it is varying 8 foot to 12 foot pipe and drape uh, those are the poles for it. The other stuff is around the room. Uh, we got my banner right here. My old DJ Rick Webb banner that I've been meaning to actually hang on this wall. Maybe I'll get around to that before the end of this video. This corner over here is basically all tables and staging and s stuff. You'll see. So right here we have the Pioneer uh, DDJ SZ case of mine. This is going to be eventually up in the studio. Uh, but I have a gig next week so I didn't bother to take it upstairs. Also, a lot of the stuff that you're going to see in here, I've pretty much never shown you guys on the channel. I've got a lot of new gear uh, since I last showed you guys the garage. I've got a lot of new gear in here, uh, obviously why it's so packed in here. So back here, I got four of my 4x4 stage decks. I have two more coming. Um, i got to pick those up in Ohio off of Chris. I bought them off of Chris. Uh, we have my pro event table stuff. We have the original ADJ pro event table, and then recently... Literally, just like a couple weeks ago, I got the Pro Event Table 2, which only difference is that it splits in half. Like you can see this one right here is actually the full length, and uh, this one splits down the middle, and you have two sections. Pretty convenient. Uh, also got the Pro Shelves. They came with uh, the Event Table 2. The deal I worked out with Canal Sign and Light, I ended up getting the shelves with it, uh, so that's, that's something. Main reason I picked up the two is because the two, being that it splits in half, can actually fit in the back of my truck and allow me to still fit the SRXs in there as well. With the original one, it covers the whole entire, it, it's complicated, but it doesn't fit when I want to bring the SRX 815s. Continuing. So I got a lot of fold up tables. We got a six footer, we got a five footer. We have two four footers, one is wider than the other. And then I got two more foot, four footers that are upstairs in the studio setup. Um, we got the big heavy base plates for my trussing. Got two of those. And then back in the back we got my old facade that has never seen the light of day in probably two years now. Golf clubs, bunch of car related cleaning stuff and tools. Up here we got the string bulbs. I have five 
strands of my string bulbs now. I buy them on a need basis. So far, I've only needed five at the gigs I've done. If I have a client that needs more than that, I'll purchase more, but right now, I only got five. Got a tarp up here that I just picked up. Very helpful thing to have a tarp. If you're doing anything regarding outdoor events, having a tarp laying around is very handy, especially if all of a sudden you get rain out of nowhere, you can throw the tarp over something. So I'm gonna start bringing that to all my gigs as a backup. Three totes down here full of cables, and in this box we have leftover LED foam sticks. Just got a, about 100 or so in there for a leftover from other gigs that we didn't use them all. It's a good point to point out that everything you see in this video is linked in the description down below as well as the first comment. So I pulled out all the totes for you guys, and the totes, these cables are for any gig that is above the simple elegant package that I bring out. So the simple elegant wedding package that I bring out fits completely in my truck and I have a cable bag over here that you've seen before, the cable filing bag, that has all the cables for that specific package. That's the package I sell the most of, so I have that one set up so it's pretty easy and quick to get it loaded up out on the road, do the gig, come back, tear it down, etc. But anything beyond that where we're bringing uh, trussing, movers, school dances, I bring these three totes right here, which have basically the rest of my extension cords, cables, and I'll show you here in a second. So this tote has all of my bigger, heavier duty extension cords, all of my 12 gauge plugs are all in this tote, as well as some ratchet straps, some more tape, and um, some just extra extension cords. In this tote, we have all of my DMX cables, as well as uh, IECs, more XLRs, etc. It's all in that tote. This tote I used to bring to every single gig. This was like my backup tote. It has a backup of everything. So uh, I bring my Yamaha MG06 mixer. It's literally just backup, that's all it is. And then I have a variety of cables, RCAs, just basically one of every single cable that I could possibly need extra of. A laptop cooler, some cleaners, uh, a hodgepodge of pretty much every cable I could possibly need is in this tote. It's just basically a very handy backup tote. Moving into the corner here, this is kind of like tripod world area. So we got my four legs for the stage. These are 24 inch high legs for those stage decks over there. Again, I'm gonna have two more and this one's actually broken so I'm gonna have another one as well. But back here, these are all the tripods that I currently own. We got the sub poles, the JBL sub poles. We've got two of those. We have two on stage tripods. We have the two Rockville hydraulics tripods in this gator bag here. We have the two Odyssey uh, 12 foot high T-bars in this bag and then I have a Ply Pro mic stand as well. All that in this corner. Moving right along, up top we have two of my two meter, that's a six and a half foot tall uh, trussing. These are actually the totems, that's why they have the top plates already on them. Those are my totems. Uh, obviously I have more trussing coming in 2019 to pull off all the school dances that we are already booked to do. Um, prom season's gonna be nuts right now. And a little side note, I got a winter gig down here at one of the local high schools where we're doing a pretty big production as well, so that should be exciting. The next area of the garage, this is where all of my speakers are at, so I'm going to pull them out so that you guys can see everything that I have. Behind me, we have most of the speakers I own. So my JBL PRX 715XLF subs, the 15-inch subs that I own, Kalen has been renting those for a quite a long time and currently they are out with him. So I do not have those here to show you, but JBL PRX 715XLFs, I have those as well. So, here are all the speakers that, well, I can't even get them all in frame. I got too many speakers that I can't get them all in frame. So, over here we got the two Avante A15s. I need to make a review on these speakers very badly. Um, so that is coming. Um, next to them we have my favorite speakers that I own right now, which are the JBL SRX 815Ps. Got two of those right there. Up top, we got probably my second favorite speaker that I own, which is the JBL PRX 712s. Um, I love these speakers. They, these were my favorites before I bought those speakers, and they still are two of my favorite speakers just because the weight is so much lighter than those things. But with these things, I don't have to bring those things which are the JBL VRX 918 SPs. We got two of them right here. 
these things bump and kick all right so moving right along we have the flight case right here which is full of movers so let's open her up inside the flight case here we have four of my adj inno spot pros my main spot movers that i use for all of the bigger productions that we do as well as the bigger wedding packages or right there's a look of one of them pulled out of the case adj inno spot pro 100 watt led movers these things are dope. Moving on to all of these bags. There is a lot of stuff here. So I'm just gonna kind of pull the bag out, bring it over here and show you what's inside of each one of these bags. Here we go, there's a lot. Starting on the top shelf right here, this is the LD Systems Maui 5 Go. This is the sub. This is the sub portion of the LD Systems Maui 5 Go. Battery powered speaker. I use it for a lot of ceremonies and cocktail hours. Next bag is also LD systems. These are the sticks that go on top of this. So you got the battery stick. You have the array stick, which has the array speakers in it. You can either put it on top of the battery like this, or there is a spacer that I use a lot, which you can get it up even higher above everything. So that's it right there when it's fully assembled. Battery powered speaker, it's dope. Back to bags. This little bag right here, which has my tall white scrims. These are for the tall T-bars. Um, these are made by Scrim King. This bag, which kind of has all of my hodgepodge lights that I don't really use anymore. We got the ADJ micro image RGB laser. This is a, an RGB laser. Shoots off all kinds of cool stuff. It's somewhat broken. We have literally one of the original lights that I ever used as DJ and I still kind of use it. This is just a, a red and green laser, simple. And then we got two of these Chave mini color strips that I also rarely use. Like I said, I rarely use any of these lights during this bag. Next up, this is a big bag. So like I was saying, with my simple elegant package, I got it down to a science basically on what I need to bring so it's quick and easy. And this bag right here is one of the most crucial bags of that whole entire thing. This is the whole lighting package for that setup. And this bag right here is an Atomix bag. This is made by Ariba Case. And it has wheels down there. It also has this extendable uh, handle right here. So you can roll this thing into the gig. And actually back here, I have the second Atomix bag, which you can hook onto this one. And what I do is, this bag actually can hold my two InnoSpot Pros. So I take the two InnoSpot Pros out of the flight case, I put them in that Atomix bag, and those are put on top of the totems when I go to do the bigger wedding setups. So really convenient solutions using the Atomix bags to hold the lighting. Um, like I said, there's nothing in this bag right now because normally I would throw the two InnoSpot Pros in this bag from the flight case. But I know you guys want to see what is in this bag. So this is everything that goes out to my elegant packages. So in the front pouch here, we have a four foot black table screen. That is because the basic elegant package does not use the event table. It uses a scrim table, which you guys will see or have seen in the recent wedding gig logs. In the main compartment, flip this open, we have all four of my on-stage scrims here. So these are T-bar scrims for standard speaker scrims. Um, and I got two black ones and two white ones. And that is because some setups look better with the black ones and some setups look better with the white ones, as you guys will see in the upcoming gig logs. Then inside here we have all of the uh, IECs that we need for all these lights. So there's three, IC three IECs down in here. Then down here we have one of my ADJ Mega Tripar Plus. That's in case I do bring the event table. I have one of the pars to go on the back to light up the FSO logo. And then on the sides here, if I can get a hold of them, these are the two Chave Wash FX2s that I own right now. Hopefully planning to have two more of these very soon. And that is my Atomix bag for all of my Elegant package. Moving on, I do have a spare ADJ uh, Mega Tripar Plus just laying around here. Um, in total, I own 10 of the ADJ Mega Tripar Plus 
uh, lights that you'll see as we pull them out. We got this ADJ bag right here, which holds my four pinpoint goes from ADJ. And these are just the classic white ones. These are what I use to do pin spotting on either a cake or a head table or a centerpiece. Um, these are the four that I own right now, hopefully going to expand to more as we do more advanced productions at weddings and stuff. So, got four of those. And I bought the pack so it comes in a nice case. Very nice. Next we got this Ariba bag right here. And if we look inside this Ariba bag, this is where you will find my ceremony mixer which is the Yamaha MG12. This thing is complete overkill for 90% of the ceremonies that I do, but I love the fact that with this thing I can do some small concert type stuff with this little board right here. Um, it's just a really good board to have uh, laying around and it's pretty affordable compared to if I wanted to get a giant board. Um, this is a nice mid-sized board to have. So these next four bags that I'm going to show you, uh, all of these have four pars a piece in them. This is where all of my pars are held. So we got bag number one, which has four more Mega Tri-Par Pluses. Bag number two has another four Mega Tri-Par Pluses. Like I said, I have ten of these. I got eight of them in these two bags, and then I got one that lays separate and one that sits in the Atomix bag. Next bag has four of just the par profiles. Uh, these are the original pars that I use when I DJ. In total, I have 20 wash pars basically. Lots of variety in terms of what I own, and I need to eventually start getting rid of some of them and buy more uniforms, so I only have two variants. And like I said in the uploading video, or if I didn't say in the uploading video, it's going to be all um, ADJ Element Hex pars and ADJ Mega Hex pars. Speaking of Mega Hex pars, this bag right here has four of my ADJ Mega Hex pars. I only own four of them right now. Plan to get a lot more. Moving on. This right here is that cable filing bag that has all the cables I need for the Elegant package and actually more than that. Um, this thing's actually pretty heavy. So like I said, this is the cable filing bag. It has every cable I could possibly need for the Elegant package. And actually it has every cable I need to do the bigger wedding package as well, as well as the majority of the school dance stuff. So this is basically the go-to bag I bring to every single gig. So on the right hand side we have the two locking IECs that go to the SRXs. We have a 12 gauge just standard extension cord right here. I have a random extension cord in here that's not supposed to be in here. Beside it, these are 14 gauge 25 foot extension cords. All these extension cords and cables are 25 foot. But these ones have the three prongs. There's two of those in there. Then beside it, we should have my Furman. Furman six outlet power strip. Uh, I have two of those in here. Again, the extension cord, extension cord, extension cord. There's a total of six extension cords in here. We have two of the Thurmans, we have two of the standard extension cords, and we have two with three outlets on the end. Here at the end, we have all the XLRs. We have four of the 25-foot Hosa Edge XLRs. We have one 20-footer in here. And then on the end, I have three of the six-foot uh, Hosa Edge XLRs. Now, moving on to our side pouches, because this thing does have some very handy side pouches. In this one, I keep three surge protectors. One of them is a black one, I got a white one, and a blue one. And then I also keep about five of these right here, which are extension cables that are just dual split on the end. Um, very, very handy. If you guys don't have any of these, I highly suggest you pick up some of these. So that's in that pocket. In the front pockets here, there's the cable filing bag uh, logo. We have a variety of Hosa cables to different connections. We have a quarter inch to quarter inch, a quarter inch to RCA. We have just a we have a uh, microphone cable that is a XLR to quarter inch. Another quarter inch to quarter inch cable. Another quarter inch to quarter inch cable. And then I have some of these right here, which are kind of handy. They're G-clips. They clip onto tripods, and you can put cables in them. If I'm running a big cable, uh, sometimes the Velcro straps are not enough to hold it on. So I use these instead. And missing from this is actually my XLR to headphone jack cable and my RCA to XLR cable. Oh my 
God, that car sucks. But those cables are currently in other totes. Or they actually might be over here. So in this pouch over here, I keep an RCA to headphone jack. That way I can hook up an iPad or another laptop to the SZ. And then I have old business cars, more of my straps for my cables in case I need them, Velcro straps, and AA batteries. As you can see, this is pretty much why I bring this bag to every single gig. It has a lot of what I need and a lot of stuff that I could need. I'm starting to realize I got a lot of gear. Next bag right here. This bag is uh, very crucial to bring out the pretty much every gig I bring. And that is because it houses all of my DMX and my Show Express stuff. So it has my wireless DMX donor system. I have five of these receivers, the battery powered donor. And then it also has my big Chave Show Express Plus box. So basically if I'm doing any lighting, this bag comes out with me. And I already keep a power strip in here with all of the power plugs so that um, I can plug in all of my DMX receivers and charge them all at once inside of the bag. Um, just a little bit easier when going out the gigs, I can plug them all in, just plug this into the wall and not have to take them out of the bag. Well, like halfway done. Next light right here, I don't have a bag for it yet. This is the Chave DJ uh, Easy Gobo. So I'm also gonna be buying um, an Icon, an ADJ Icon to do uh, gobos with. This one's battery powered. Um, and the first gig that I needed to do a custom gobo, um, the placement of it was in a place that couldn't get power to start with, so I bought this one. So now I'm gonna have a battery powered one as well as the Icon, which is basically a higher powered version of this, and it will be able to do majority of the gobos that I do when I can plug into an outlet. All right, this next stuff I can kind of just show you on these shelves. So um, in this box, we have all of my 12 foot tall white drapery. Um, pretty self-explanatory, I don't need to bring it out. That's for the pipe and drape. We have tons of safety cables hanging here. These are very important when we do school dances and we do trust stuff that we use safety cables so that everything is up to code and all that good stuff. Got a high powered fan up there because in the summertime you need a fan. It's very important that you have a fan to keep yourself cool. Moving down to the bottom shelf here we got the two ADJ Element Hexes right here. Another bag full of some random cables. This bag is broken and stuff, so I actually need to take the little bit of cables that are in there and put them in other stuff. Down here we have the five base plates for the pipe and drape poles. Those are right there. These boxes right here go out whenever we have trussing. So this box holds all of the O clamps. We got metal ones down here in the bottom. We have metal ones in here as well as just the standard plastic ones. Obviously we use the metal ones whenever we can for the bigger heavier stuff. Uh, the metal clips are actually already in that case right there when we go do school dances to hang those movers. But in here we also got a bunch of the regular oak clamps as well. This box holds all of our trussing uh, couplers and our trussing pins and all that fun stuff is in that box right there. So like I said, if we do any trussing work, uh, these two boxes right here come out. These are just ammo boxes. You can pick them up at Harbor Freight. They're pretty cheap. So before we get up to all of that up there, down here I have my two 10 gauge 100 foot extension cords. I have two of them now. These normally never come out unless I know I need to run power from a long distance. Um, they come out to all the school dances though and they come out to the bigger production stuff but for the simple weddings of that I rarely ever bring these. Beside it we got the ADJ haze generator and I got an extra gallon of the haze oil back there as well. This is the controller for it as well. This is the microphone shelf. And actually the two units right there that are still in the saran wrap are gonna be part of the upcoming giveaway. So I have five of the Phoenix Audio wireless microphone racks. Two of them are on the 500 megahertz bands and then three of them are on the 600 megahertz bands. And then we also had the GT Audio wireless microphone rack. It's the same one that's in the SZ case. Um, but this one is two lapels versus the, the other one that's handheld. This is the AltaStealth wireless system to run wireless uh, XLR signal to my speakers if I need to. I got my fold-up Odyssey laptop stand right here. And then beside it we have another item that's going to be in the giveaway. And that is one of the Phoenix little uh, USB mixers. So it's a mixer you can plug into your computer. I have this exact same one upstairs in the studio setup that I use for live streaming and that. So uh, you'll see that more in the studio setup. 
This box right here is all of my extra bags. So these are either broken bags or bags I don't use anymore. They're all in there. And that's kind of the same theme with this whole entire shelf here. Here we have another laptop stand, another one of my Odyssey older ones. This one doesn't fold up. Kind of just sits here unless I need another laptop stand. Uh, we got boxes for stuff that I've bought, like the Alto Stealth and the, um, and the fold-up laptop stand that's there. We got a uh, broken light over here. This is an Electro Swarm, doesn't work anymore. We have another light back there that doesn't work anymore. Uh, th this whole shelf of stuff that doesn't work anymore, except for this right here, which is my VMS 4.1. This was the mi mixer I used before I got the SZ. And if any of you guys are interested in that thing, I've been trying to sell it literally for like the last three years. So if you wanna buy my American DJ VMS 4.1, hit me up. And right there, we have probably the most important thing in the whole entire garage, which is my dehumidifier. Why is that important? Because humidity, if anything is going to ruin your equipment, it'll be humidity. Because humidity will cause uh, rusting, corrosion, all kinds of bad stuff for your gear. So this garage has a dehumidifier and it keeps this place at a beautiful 30% humidity at the maximum. And uh, it, it does wonders. Anyways guys, that is all of the equipment that I have down here in the garage. All the equipment that I own. Perfusion sound and lighting, all that craziness. I've made quite a mess down here as you guys can see. And I really need to clean it up. So I'm gonna end this video right here and I'm gonna clean up this mess. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see all the equipment that I own and all the equipment that I use uh, for all of these crazy gigs. And like I said, there's tons more equipment coming in 2019. Uh, Tressing, dual 18 subwoofers, more lighting probably. Lots of cool stuff are gonna be coming in 2019. But anyways guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to this YouTube channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. And like always guys, my name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep them records spinning and I will see you guys next time.